Hey, Michael, I'm up here. Good afternoon. 1.40 p.m. on a good Friday. Actually, every Friday is a good Friday. Uh, 4.28.23. Months almost over. Um, basically, a month be over uh, Sunday. And then we got May. May. So the big question is, sell a man, go away? We'll see. May is my birthday. It'll be 47 on May 8th. I don't even know what day that lands. May 8th is a Monday. So I will have a case of the Mondays. If you, for those that haven't seen Office Space, check it out. Good movie. Really, really funny. If you like that kind of humor. What do we got going on? Um, in the Tasty Trade, I got 11 trades. Uh, pretty much rolling stuff. Um, and closing stuff. I have 11 trades. I have Crowd Strike working a broken wind butterfly to the put side, trying to get a 15 cent credit. We'll see if it gets filled. And that's all I have right here, right now, in this account. Um, in TD Ameritrade, Trade, I have 10 fills right now. Um, and let's take a look at the futures. Uh, dollar is up. Nine cents to 101.59. Interest rates are down eight bips to 343. Foreign currencies are mixed uh, with uh, the Aussie and the Euro down a little bit, and the pound and the loonie are up. Hogs up $1.65. Those things have been rallying. My correlated play is Tyson Food. It's actually up $106 today. Um, they have earnings soon. I have earning, earnings on my birthday, and I got it under 60 bucks, so they have earnings soon. They probably have high IV. IV is 40, so it, do, it does have high, high IV. Um, might, might make sense to sell something against my, my position. I mean, Tyson's really had a big sell off if you look at the. Uh, the one-year chart. Look at that. 95, 55 was a low. 62. Let me see if we're breaking out of here. Let's we'll see what the high is here. 62, 66. I wonder if we have high volume in them today, Tyson. Uh, light volume, nothing heavy. They do pay a 3% dividend, which they pay on May 31st. Interesting. I don't know if I want to sell a call against my position. I really don't. Uh, I'll think about it. Let's continue. Um, oil. Wow, oil up two bucks. That's what I like. Uh, I'm very heavy in oil. Uh, let's take a look how my biggest winners are doing. So XOP, I'm up 537 today on XOP. And XLE, I'm up 211, and those are my big oil plays. Uh, just been buying as much as I can there, whenever I can. Um, Tyson Foods, the next biggest winner, biggest loser is Beetle, $67. Having a pretty good day today so far. Uh, my biggest loser is my 10-year interest rates, but I'm still up 47 bucks. That would be my biggest loser. And Intel, which I'm short sure that. They had the worst quarter in company history. Orange juice, vitamin C, good for you. Little quantity, just a little bit, because it could be high in sugar. You want to get too heavy on sugar. Um, I closed my NASDAQ short to beta weight all this morning. Thank God I did. I closed them all. And I made out okay. S&P up 28. Let's look up the chart one day. There it is, up 28. The high of the day was 41.85. Uh, gold, gold is flat. Ether down 31. Bitcoin down 500. NASDAQ up 46. Dow Jones up 220. Net gas up 3 cents. Silver up 2 cents. VIX down 80 cents. And the grains up respectively 5 cents, 18 cents, and seven cents let's take a look at a, a chart of corn 
We actually have some good volume in these in these micros. Let's take a look at a one year chart on corn. 561 was the low. And right now we're at 587. Uh, let me see three year chart. And this is a three year chart. 312 was the low, 824 was the high. And there's a big red bar. So that's corn. So maybe corn wants to test. Let me see here. I mean, it might be because we got this right here, this bar right here, which is 574 on that bar. But then we have this here. I'm looking at this line right here. You see, and we have this area right here, this big bar here. The low was 604 on this one, and 566 on this one. I mean, I, 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 I would I would get along here. I mean, they, they've been beat up, if you ask me. That's auto zoom here. Let me see here. 10 days. Look at this. 682 all the way down. Now, we're getting a lot of buying. We've got a lot of buying here in this 572 area. You can see a lot of green here. It's a lot of green. 20 day. And this is a commodity. That's corn and as soybeans have been destroyed too. You still you're starting to see some buying here. This 20 day, and I've been saying this in my videos, these things have been annihilated. Like they've been hit really, really hard if you look at these charts. If you really look at these charts, now they do have ETFs. I don't know. They close at they the greens are gonna close and they close at 2 05 p.m. Eastern. Um so I don't know. I'll do more research and I'll wait for a down day and maybe I'll do something in there. I really don't have a lot of exposure to grains. There's an ETF called DBA. You can look at this, but it hardly moves. And then Caterpillar's having a nice day. And Don D John Deere. John Deere's been beat up pretty good, I think. For four fifty down to 375 that's another ag correlated play um so tejas asked me about crt i think it was crt was it crt or ctr it was can candom can here it is CPT, sorry. Chat, chat, GPT. CPT, IV rank of 37, CPT. And here we have a 9, so I don't even know which one's right. Options are, there's no uh, liquidity. 14 calls are traded today, 27 puts. Expected move in CP. Did they have earnings yet? Let's see. So I see no earnings here. This is a treat, a, 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 a re treat, re trick or treat uh, with light volume worth $11 billion. Good dividend, 375. Um, CFR keeps buy rating on Candom Property Trust. I guess they reported on the 27th, so that was yesterday. Up 166 from 76, 376, 311. And let's see fundamentals. Company engaged ownership management, developer acquisition, development acquisition, construction, multifamily apartment communities, 170. One multifamily property consisting of 60,000 apartment homes across the U.S. Wow, so they have a lot of apartments all over Florida, California. So, pretty good read. Seems like, and they have a good rank here. Um, the options I would, I mean, so if you buy stock, you can just buy stock. Uh, expected move in May is six bucks, expected move in June is nine bucks. 112 days out, 15 bucks, 
and in 200 days, 20 bucks. But there's not much happening here in these options, and the spreads are very wide. So it'd be hard to do something in here, in my opinion. Um, so your best route would be here, is basically, if you think the company's good, is to buy. Here's the one-year chart. Was 165, hit 97. This is going back up. Is to buy the stock itself, probably. Buy the shares that you feel comfortable owning. Well, their dividend is. Already paid dividend, pays three seven five. Um, so that's what I see there. I mean, there's really not much. There's not not enough, enough open interest in trading to do anything. I prefer more liquid stuff. I can look and see what do some research and see what what uh, reads are out there that have higher liquidity for tradable. Or you can go with uh, with an ETF. Uh, ETF that maybe has involvement in real estate. I don't know from the top of my head. I think the I, uh, YR maybe is the one. Let me see. Uh, YR. This is the US real estate ETF. Uh, real estate, yeah. So you could go with this one. Uh, it's 85 bucks, it's up today. 3 million shares. There might be, let me see what the options are doing here. So you see, you got low IV and you have 9,500 calls and 2,500 puts in this ETF. Maybe you have a little break out here? Uh, possible. Possible here. And if it goes through here, maybe it can go back to 95. So something like this, I would maybe do something like I would look out. So the IV rank, let me let me clarify here. So it's 10. Let me double check it with against Tasty. I like to double check. Here is three, so very low. So maybe, uh, and this is an ETF for, for, for real estate. Uh, and if you think this is going to go back up to like maybe 90, let's say, and it's an update, so I hate to do this on an update. I'm a contrarian. I like to do it, you know. Uh, the expected move is 3 bucks from here in 21 days. So that will put it at basically 89, maybe 90. And then... 49 days out, it's expected to move almost six bucks, and the 90s are right here. And you've got some open interest and, and, and pretty tighter bid ask. So, like, maybe a trade here will be sell at 90, which is a, a nine delta. And so, you click here, right click, buy calendar, and then move this to June, and then you would pay 54 cents for this trade. Let's see. I got filled. So whatever I put in, I, I read ETF uh, call calendar spread. So I just lower my cost basis on the call calendar, uh, whatever the 90 cost here, 12, 14 bucks. Now I'll probably just let this ride, and hopefully this one expires worthless, and then I'll keep the back one 43 days, 49 days out, giving me more time, and hopefully it gets to 90. So that's my trade, and there. Hopefully that that uh, that helped you there, Tejas, in your in your Camden and, and real estate uh, trade or you know outlook on that. Anyways, this video's been 15 minutes. Don't want to get too long. I'll do another one later. I just want to touch on a little bit on the markets and what I've been seeing out there. Let's just close it out maybe with the. The um, the most active options, Tesla up four, Amazon down four. Uh, Doug looks like you're gonna win on your trade. Good job. I'm, I'm gonna win two. Big big moves in FRC. They might go under. So I think they're gonna try and rescue banks. Snapchat got destroyed. Um, 
Pinterest got destroyed. NetCloud got destroyed. And I did calendars on and, and all these. First order got destroyed. I mean destroyed. I'm I'm up to like uh, so I have cross rank working, so I have eleven in the other account, eleven here, twenty two fills right now. Um and just keeping an eye on the markets, it's softening up here a little bit here. Let's see on the daily chart here, on the spy. One minute, you see we're getting some red here. I mean, look at the news. Global news. I can't really see it because it's like dark, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we're getting some selling here. And I'm pretty long some 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 delta, so I don't know. Might be a good spot to maybe sell a couple futures. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, chime in. I'll help you with any uh, trades that I can. I'm not a financial advisor. Trade at your own risk. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.